Hey folks, it's Abby from Autumn of Pelinor and today I'm going to be complaining about the Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. This, <laughs> this book is over 1,000 pages long and me and Carrie from Caring for Books, link down below, decided to buddy read it in October, the month of both of our birthdays, to try and get through this behemoth. What a waste of time. We both would have, d would have DNF'd it without the other one reading it. Let's get into it. So, first of all, do not be misconstrued. Yes, this is a historical fiction, but it is a book about building a cathedral, okay? This is not just like a cutesy title where I'm like, oh that kind of- no, I now know a surprising amount about cathedral construction. Am I mad about knowing a surprising amount? No, I always like having more knowledge. But I didn't expect 700 pages of cathedral construction. You know, that wasn't the vibe I was anticipating. I anticipated 400 pages of cathedral construction. And then maybe like the rest, like the half of the rest would be historical and half would be people. Not, not the case. Lot of cathedral construction. I know a lot now. Alright, so go in being aware of that. If you go in knowing that and looking forward to that, go for it. Please do. But just FYI, <laughs> it is mainly cathedral construction. So we do actually follow a family over multiple generations trying to construct this one cathedral and the the head of this cathedral, the prior, attempting to get it built and to have this cathedral made for the Lord. It is set in the 12th century, in the 1100s, in the UK, although we do have a in the UK, in England, although we do have a little sojourn into Europe for a short period. The historical accuracy in here is something that I do have to commend. I've got to say, it is, as far as I know, I'm a pinch of salt, I'm not a historian, as far as I know, really historically accurate, Follett did his research. I think those are my positives. I have notes. <laughs> now on to the negatives. This book has so much unnecessary gratuitous violence in it. So much. So, mm. so Ken Follett, I have read one book by him before, Fall of Giants, and he has the same issue in there, although not on quite the same level. Um, which is that the women are incredibly unrealistic. He cannot write females. When you're reading from the perspective of the male characters in here, there are so many fewer issues because he can actually write male characters. He cannot write the female experience. In Fall of Giants, this is just kind of poorly done, generic, kind of a little bit of misogyny, just generic levels. Um, in here, it's insulting. He tries. He tries, bless him. He's got this main character who he... he really attempts to make her like a strong independent woman and he does not. Usually I hide content warnings down in the description so that people can go find them if they want to. This one I'm telling you because I wanted to know it. I don't use content warnings. There is a horrendous rape scene in here. It's awful. Me and Carrie checked that each other were okay after reading it. It's horrendous, it's gratuitous, there's no need for it to go into as much depth as it does to get across the level of violence that Fuller is intending to impart to the reader. It is unnecessary violence. Completely unnecessary. Just... I understand that it's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable, but I've read rape scenes before where I don't come out of it wanting a bath. Uh -huh. mm -mm, mm -mm. It's just... It's not even just rape, it's also incredibly violent. Just rape. I just had to say that about this book. He does mean well, he thinks that he's writing these strong women by having them never complain about anything and by having them take on all the responsibilities. But instead he just writes it as though the women are servants of some of the men, that they are strong because they don't complain. If you are not a cis man, I know you get it. If you're a cis man, Eh, who knows? I hope you do, but probably not. Um, so yeah. Not... Ah, did not enjoy that part. There's also a villain in here who is present throughout the book and whilst I do like the aspect of having, you know, a consistent threat through the book um, and how they realistically kind of reappear, I don't think that the actions that occurred against them and for them were all that realistic. It just seemed exaggerated, it seemed like they were kept in there just for the plot, like the storyline would have made more sense if they had exited sooner than they did, rather than them clinging on for dear life till the end of the book where they did not need to be. If you've read it, yes I'm talking about William. Get rid of him! Get he, One, he's one of the worst characters I've ever read in my goddamn life, but also he didn't need to be in like this section of the book. Like that already had 
its own kind of plot devices with like bad guys and good guys trying to come to a certain resolution. They they didn't need William still in there. That that was not a requirement. There were certain aspects of the plot that I enjoyed. I did like the historical accuracy side of things. I enjoyed how that was interwoven and interlinked with the plot, like I said earlier, but also the plot just dragged. It dragged so much, it did not need to be this long. A good editor could have got this down to under a thousand pages, no problem whatsoever. It was just such a disappointment. It has such a gorgeous cover. <laughs> yes, I'm biased from aesthetically judging a book by its cover, but it does. It has a really beautiful cover. The concept's really interesting. I am not writing it down because of the cathedral thing being more prevalent, because that's my own issue for not looking more into the book. That's something that I can accept. It's just his writing of women was god-awful. And as a woman it makes it incredibly difficult to read and it then emphasises all of the other small points that you're not enjoying about something that makes it worse and worse and worse. We didn't want to continue with this book. I did not care about reading about the constant abuse of human beings when it's not even, it's not like supposed to be that sort of book. It's meant to be about building this cathedral and then it, instead it just shoves in this violence throughout the entire thing. It makes no sense. And I, I don't know if Follett's trying to be like, oh yeah, in the time, that time period, things were more violent. They weren't this violent. And also you chose to specifically write in depth about those points. You can mention any accurate historical violence that occurred without glorifying it, without making it seem like it was the subplot to the cathedral building. I thought we were supposed to be learning about these people's lives, not about violence in the area that they're in. This is an awful book. If you've read it, please let me know. If you liked it, and you're not a cis man, I would be really, really interested if you could tell me why you didn't hate his writing of women in here. Please. Like, it's bad. It's bad. At least agree with me that it's bad. And if you've read it and hated it, let me know so we can rejoice together, because this book is awful. Okay, it's awful. I'm keeping it on my shelves for now for two reasons. One, I'm an aesthetic bitch. And two, I just need to be able to pull it out and be like, look how bad this book is. I know that some people will enjoy it. If you go into it knowing it's going to be like how it is, and I think cis men will enjoy this a lot more than any other demographic. So if that is you, if you're like, yeah, I can read 700 pages about the cathedral. Sounds interesting. And I'm not bothered about really heavy violence. And knowing it going in, I would have been okay with it. But like, you're going in with that and you're like, yeah. And I'm a cis man, so you know, I'm not gonna get the vibes of like, women written badly. You could enjoy this. But I don't see why it's so renowned, other than the patriarchy. Thank you for watching, folks. And I will see you in my next video, which hopeful hopefully will be a lot more positive than this one. Bye!